My bedroom is dark, but it's morning. I ignore the alarm clock beeping by the bed and sit up, the bed sheets flowing around me as I push off and drift over to the window. Outside, the black sky stretches in all directions, filled with stars. Thousands of miles beneath my red brick house, the earth turns, spilling its bluish glow onto the walls. Up in space, other houses float by. Some are little cottages, others mansions. I wave to a little boy in a caravan as he passes, but he's too busy playing on his DS. He's one of the newer ones here. I hope he stays a while. There aren't many younger than me. The house tilts gently as I hold onto the banister and float downstairs. There's a little window halfway down, and the vase on the sill has fallen over. I grab the flowers that are floating away and return them. I've learned to hide ornaments away in closed drawers and cupboards, but the vase has to stay. There's a long crack down the middle that's been repaired with superglue and sellotape. In the living room, the TV belch is static. There used to be a better signal, but now there's rarely any news. Barely registering, it croaks as if in agreement. I stick my tongue out at it. Something rumbles in the distance. A huge shadow slides over the hallway carpet, blocking out the light reflecting off the earth below. Another house is approaching. Gleefully, I launch over to the front door and open it. It's a narrow apartment building, with weeds growing between the concrete steps. An old pair of muddy trainers sit by the door. A man looks out through the cracked ground floor window, eyes wide behind his glasses. Everyone looks scared when they first arrive here. I was too. I smile and wave as our houses drift together, my doorstep touching his and knocking away a chunk of stone. The sign by the faded door reads flat 2B. It opens slowly, his knuckles white on the handle. For a moment he can only stare at me in bewilderment. Who are you? he asks finally. Then he glances down and swears. Why are we in space? I shrug and gesture at the universe surrounding us. Welcome to the neighbourhood. It takes nearly five minutes of persuading to get him to step over the gap and into the house. Are your parents in? he asks hesitantly, glancing up the stairs. I shake my head. Don't forget to wipe your feet. No point hanging your coat up though, they just float away, or the quakes knock them down again. Quakes? Space quakes? For a moment he looks like he's about to cry, and removes his glasses to polish them on his sleeve. His brown hair is flecked with grey, and a faded Superman t-shirt stretches over his stomach a middle-aged Clark Kent. I'm Emily, I tell him. He closes the front door, hiding the stars. Then he draws the bolt across. Uh, Wade, how did I get here? We all do, somehow. He follows me into the kitchen, then hesitates in the doorway when he sees the window. There's a lovely view of Earth from here. Don't you know how you got here? He asks. How long have you been here for? I reach into the fridge and hold up a bottle. Milkshake? Yes. No. But why? He sighs. Milkshake in space. Fine. Why not? I pour us two glasses and hand it to him before the liquid can float off, covering my own with my hand. It's thick, closer to custard in consistency. He's preoccupied with his surroundings, droplets leaking up between his fingers. Big house. You live here by yourself? I blink. Of course I do. Everyone does. We watch the sun rise over the continents. The moment is slightly spoiled by Wade slurping. Another quake starts up. The house judders cutlery clanking in the drawers. Wade's glass slips from his fingers and crashes to the floor. Outside, a dark shape moves between us and the earth. It's another house. This one is old and battered, with tiles missing from the roof. It's spinning and shaking. The upstairs window is open, and a woman is shouting for help. But no one can. Even as we watch, the bricks all come apart and the house crumbles with her in it. In silence, we watch the debris become dust and float back towards the earth. Does this happen often? Wade murmurs. I nod. It happens to everyone in the end. People either move away, or they crumble. <laughs>